This is the most tolled city on earth. It's a sound every motorist dreads. All up, Sydney siders pay two and a half billion dollars a year in tolls. The reason we are in this mess in the first place is that toll roads owned by the taxpayers of this state were sold off to private firms, paid for by the motorists in New South Wales, and we need to draw a line in the sand. An independent review released this week found a messy and unfair system in New South Wales. We say the prices are too high, too unfair, and the burden is growing enormously. According to review co-author Alan Fells, the key player in Australian toll roads transurban has been too dominant for too long. It's got a monopoly on toll roads just about everywhere in Australia. And it's also got considerable power over governments and what they do with tolls. Tolls vary depending on where you drive in Sydney and motorists in the West often pay more. Got virtually no choice, they have to use toll roads. If you're close to town, it's You've got quite a few public transport choices and so on. Not out in the West, so they cop it really bad. Transurban has a stake in most of the city's toll roads, alongside the government, which manages tolls on the Harbour Bridge. The public interest needs to be injected into toll road policy. The motorists put first, not last. The review has proposed charging motorists on a per kilometre basis where the rate reduces the further they go. And they want to add two-way tolling on the Harbour Bridge and the Eastern Distributor. We have recommended, firstly, that we get a unified system as a whole set of prices for Sydney to be fairer, simpler, more intelligible and more efficient. Second, the general level of prices needs to come down. The Minns Labor government has inherited the huge infrastructure projects started under previous coalition rule. It's vowed to keep some of the projects in public hands, including the Western Harbour Tunnel, which connects the North Shore to the West. An additional harbour crossing is exactly what a growing Sydney needs. The government has yet to provide a formal response to the review findings but it's considering all the recommendations. If we get that right, that could mean less congestion, it could mean it's less expensive, it could make Sydney a more productive city over the decades to come. But there are questions about whether the government will have to compensate Transurban if it breaks existing contracts, some of which don't expire until 2060. Are you prepared to break their existing contracts regarding pricing? Yeah, look, I mean, we're, high, we're encouraged by the fact that Transurban have publicly stated both yesterday and prior to that that they want to sit down and work with the New South Wales government on a agreement that is fair and equitable for the motorists for New South Wales. We've got a few levers to pull, but I think it's reasonable that we do that around the negotiating table. The government maintains it'll find a way to avoid these costs. One of the big questions is, uh, can we change these arrangements at all these contracts signed until 2060 in some cases? And I think the public view was, look, there was nothing that could be done. Alan Fells doesn't accept that. The government doesn't accept that. What kind of costs are associated with breaking those contracts? Yeah, the, well, they're very, very significant contracts. These are, motorists still have to pay $195 billion between now and 2060. So this is complex work. Uh, it's expensive if we get it wrong. Transurban says it's committed to working with the New South Wales government on potential reforms and that it understands its contracts will be honoured. While the review suggests Transurban and the government need to reach an agreement by Christmas, Alan Fells isn't optimistic they'll meet that deadline. I'm sceptical that will be achievable. So we've said, get it settled by this Christmas, if not, use legislation to make the changes in the public interest. Until then, it'll be more of the same for Sydney's weary motorists. Can you confirm that tolls will be lower under your government? Uh, 
Well, obviously our goal is to ensure that there's fairness in the system. And uh, that's a long negotiation. But what I can confirm, and what we took to the last election campaign, is that we will take action.